my name is Mark Levine. I'm an American. I just celebrated my 75th anniversary. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. I first came to China in 2005, and I moved to Beijing in 2007. So I've been here for 17 years, almost 18. Out upon the Jiangsu Plain lies the city of Huayang. My first destination in China was the city of Huayang in Jiangsu Province. I knew not anything about geography in China, but I knew some about 20th century history in China. I knew about Zhou Enlai in the city of Huayan, proud to be the hometown of the first premier of the People's Republic of China. There's many memorials for him, beautiful memorials, and I said, okay, I guess that's where I should go. Out upon the Jiangsu Plain lies the city of Huayan. It's a place I'm proud to call my home. I left in 2007 and came to Beijing. This was a couple years before the Beijing Summer Olympics. Chinese people believe in being good hosts. So they were anticipating that large numbers of tourists would come. So everybody was learning, taxi drivers, police officers. So this is my 16th year of teaching at Minzu University of China. That over the next period of time beginning today, what's going to happen is there will be visitors. And that is... We have here four characters, Mei Mei Yu Gong, and they represent the university. This is Minzu University of China. It's a... Um, the nationality school. There are 56 Chinese ethnic groups. And this university, 50% of our students, approximately, of the undergraduate students, are from the 55 ethnic minorities, right? They're undergraduate students and college preparation students. And what this means is that you not only need to respect your own culture, but it, you should respect the culture of others. So in the United States, if and when we hear about ethnic diversity in China, it's usually within a framework of conflict. And I come, I'm in my classroom, I've got students, I've got Han students, Mongolian students, Uyghur, Kazakh, Bu, Yi, Zhuang, Miao, Tuja, and they're all there together. And they're studying together. They're not fighting. They're working together. They're playing together after class. They're eating together, you know? And this is the reality. This is what I see day after day after day, almost uh, 16 years. I live in a very interesting neighborhood. I'm often asked, where, where do you always eat? And I say, I don't always do anything. And sometimes I'll eat on the campus because we have the most delicious university food of anywhere. It's kind of fascinating because in the past couple of years, three not big supermarkets, but markets that have meat and fish and uh, vegetables and fruit and other kind of basic household things opened up within a two minute to seven minute walk from here. One is just right across the street. And uh, I don't speak Chinese and nobody in any of these markets speaks any English, but most people recognize me and a butcher meat market in there. And every time I walk in, he says, Ah, Maka! Maka! Oh, Jaga Nyoro? Okay. Very friendly guy, always help, happy to see me. There's a couple of other employees who know me and they wave at me. Especially if the weather is nicer, I have a bicycle, I like to ride. Uh, sometimes I'll just tour around parts of the city. I have their shared bikes all over the place. 
right? It's very easy to scan the code and so on. And you can get a bike, and I use them sometimes. If I go to certain neighborhoods and I have to go a few blocks away to get to my destination, sometimes I'll just take a shared bike. It's very, very useful. And a half ago I came to this land. No I have a son and a daughter-in-law in Los Angeles. He's really happy with the good life I have here. And he strongly believes, as I do, that I have a much better life here than I would there. And so he's very encouraging of that. Foreigners in China are referred to as Lao Wai. Local folks are welcoming if you are not shy. A friendly greeting of me, how big smile on display will bring about the same response headed in your way and I burst around